Hi, Bass Recapped here. Today, I am going to explain a film called Madame Claude. A high-class prostitute working for Madame Claude arrives in Washington on a private plane. What happens is watched by photographer David Evans, who works for the French police in order to clear his criminal record by taking compromising pictures. A driver picks up the girl and takes her to the house of the American president. At the same time, a politician is holding a meeting with high-ranking officials to discuss the country's domestic and foreign policies. Once the official event is over, he heads to the bedroom, where a naked Anne-Marie is waiting for him. Adding the sound on the television, the president pleasures the hottie. After the meeting the couple leave the country house and once again find themselves in the lens of an annoying photographer. On the way to the airport the man hands her an envelope and warns her that it contains a double fee. She is also supposed to meet a Japanese politician and make their date unforgettable. Carefully working off the money, Amri satisfies the president's Asian comrade and gets caught in a compromising photo. On his way home, David meets Inspector Lefebvre and reports on the work he has done. Back in France, Anne-Marie returns home and meets the photographer in his flat. They meet for a long time, although the girl is unaware that David has been following her in the United States. The prostitute calls Madame Claude and informs her of her return, after which she spends time with her lover doing cupcakes in the bathroom. After receiving another order from a high-ranking official, Claude calls Jill and tells her that the girl has to go to Baghdad. David overhears the conversation and says he wants to go with her as he has business in the Iraqi capital. Once there, the girl meets the prince and circles him in a dance. After that, she does what she is paid to do. It turns out that the man doesn't want intimacy, as he enjoys watching the girls kiss. The photographer asks for a compromising picture, but doesn't get what he wants. Angry, he punches Jill in the face, but quickly apologizes for his behavior by removing the girl's extra clothes. At the shop, Elizabeth tries on a dress. Letting the dog go, she distracts the shop assistant and steals the clothes, but this is noticed by Madame Claude. Posing as Madame Berga, she uncovers the thief and buys her the dress. At the end, the woman leaves her business card for her to call her and meet in a more comfortable environment. Tired of being a secretary, Elizabeth quarrels with her boss and decides to quit and start a new life. Sometime later, Claude calls the girl and reminds her of her wish to meet, but she ignores the offer of the successful and wealthy woman. The next morning the prostitutes gather at Madame Claude's house and share their successes. The strong and commanding woman harshly criticizes the girls and reminds them of how they should behave. Left alone, Jill reveals that she has not brought the ring from the prince, as the photographer has taken it. Enraged, Madame asks the girls about who else has met David. Anne-Marie makes no secret of her close relationship with the boy and is tasked with arranging for them to meet. Hoping for support, Madame calls Louis, unaware that her conversations are being overheard by the local police. In the evening, Pierre visits the woman's room. The couple have dinner and have a nice chat, as they have known each other for a long time. The man would like Claude to have a lover, but she is alien to any feelings. The woman wants power and money and is not interested in anything else. At a nightclub, David drinks and relaxes. Trying to cheer up the crowd, he pretends to get beaten up, but no one appreciates the photographer's joke. Alexander and Hugo are wealthy men and friends of the guy. Despite this they ask the photographer to calm down, otherwise he will be punished. Mr. Stanfield dances with Anne-Marie and hopes to meet the girl again. Upon approaching the bartender, he learns that the pretty girl works for Madame Claude and is dating the photographer hanging around her. After meeting Louis, Madame Claude goes to meet the annoying photographer pestering her girls. The local police pursue them, but the underhand easily evades the pursuit. Once there, the woman goes up to the flat and asks Louis to follow, but 15 minutes later, a CIA agent observes what is happening and suggests that the photographer and Madame Claude are working together to create images compromising high-ranking US officials. At the same time, the woman asks the photographer to leave the girls alone and return the ring given by the prince. Louis goes up to the flat but allows David to leave alive and unharmed. That night, a CIA agent receives orders to eliminate the photographer. After quitting her job, Elizabeth feels free and dreams of a bright future. Once again talking to Madame Claude, she ignores her offer to meet as she is not attracted to women. The next day the girl decides to come to the meeting and is ready for anything. To prove it, she removes her dress and lies down on the bed of the wealthy lady. It soon becomes clear to her that Claude has taken an interest in her as an employer and can help her become independent. After agreeing to the tempting financial offer, the girl gets into a taxi and goes to Pierre's house. The man spends a night with the new prostitute and tests her out to leave his first review of her. The photographer tries to hide in the flat of one of the prostitutes, but she is waiting for a client. The doorbell interrupts their conversation and Florent hides the uninvited guest. Dressed up in a man's suit, the girl meets a wealthy man. He likes to play games, so he paints his lips and eyelashes, puts on a dress and then engages in a muffin with the easygoing maiden. Trying to leave the flat, David takes a racy photo and escapes. Florent notices this and stalks the guy, hoping to redeem the photo. At a dentist's appointment, Madame Claude learns that the doctor dreams of becoming a prostitute, fulfilling desires and dreams. 
To prove this, she recounts an adventure that took place on a train. One day the woman went out for a smoke when suddenly someone lifted up her dress and nestled behind her. She never got to see her partner's face, but this intimacy was special for her. Claude is ready to watch the dentist and asks her to get naked and fondle herself. It turns out that she is not suited to work as a prostitute, as she gets too much pleasure from the cupcake. After passing the first test, Elizabeth gets a new flat and money for a night out with Pierre. After that, she learns manners and rules of behavior as she has to conform to her clients. Visiting the doctor, theaters and restaurants she has to behave like a real lady. Having undergone training, the girl goes to the Bahamas to see Alexander. It turns out he wants a prostitute to take his son's virginity. After getting to know Frederick better, the girl seduces the naive boy and makes a real man out of him. The next morning she receives a fee of $10,000 and leaves the island without a chance to say goodbye to her young lover. A local government official is visited by a CIA agent reporting on David's activities that have come to their attention. Realizing that Madame Claude is in danger, the man tells her what has happened. At the same time, he instructs Inspector Lefebvre to find the photographer and deliver him to his office. Hiding from his pursuers, David breaks into Elizabeth's flat, but realizes that it is not safe here. At Anne-Marie's house, he takes a photo of the bed scene and drives the girl's lover away. The photographer calls the inspector and informs him of his whereabouts, unaware that he will turn him into CIA agents. A short time later Anne-Marie is going to a party. She does not have time to leave the house because an inspector comes to visit. Having received compromising evidence, he knocks out the photographer with the butt of his gun and sends the prostitute to the afterlife. At this time David, who has woken up, manages to escape. A neighbor tries to help him and calls the police, but the guy has no time to wait as the inspector is on his heels. Stealing a taxi, he drives off to Hugo and Alexander, hoping for their support. The guy is pursued by CIA agents and shot in the back. Caught in a mass copulation, the photographer seeks out his friends and asks for help. They think he is faking it, like he did a few days ago at the club, so they kick him out of the erotic party. An American agent catches up with the fugitive and silences him for good. From then on, the CIA is not interested in the guy's pictures, as their problem has been successfully solved. Elizabeth becomes disillusioned with the work of the corrupt maidens and decides to leave Madame Claude. Despite all persuasion and pleas, she wants to start a new life. After returning the keys to the flat, the things presented and the money, the girl leaves the office. During the walk, the woman meets the inspector. The man silently gives her the compromising photos stolen from David and leaves. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more such movies explanation. And hit the like button to support our work. See you next time.